Hi everyone. Okay, so I've set myself a bit of a challenge and it might be a bit of a stretch, but let's see how it goes. So can I make a save £2,000 or more from utilising my home battery and solar panel install as much as possible? As I mentioned in my previous video, I've recently had a 6.32 kilowatt peak solar panel system and home battery installed and I'm looking to maximise the income I make and reduce the payback time as much as possible. In that video, I also discussed my theories on the payback being between 6 and 7 years, which will equate to making or saving around £1,500 per year. Now I feel like a lot of people that have solar panels and battery installed don't know a few of these tips so hopefully this provides some value for those watching and really make your system work for you and make some significant cost savings. So since my system was installed in mid-December I thought it gave me a good chance to look at this year's usage starting from January and monitor everything for a whole year and record what we actually make or save from it. So savings of £2,000 per year will bring that payback down to five and a half years. So let's see what we can do. So let me just break this down and explain how I think I'm going to do this. So number one is my savings on my energy bills. Assuming that I'm on the standard price gap guarantee of 34 pence per kilowatt hour and using roughly 2,500 kilowatt hours per year, which is my forecasted usage for this year, then that equates to £850 per year. Now, this might also increase later on in the year, depending on what the government do with the energy price guarantee. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get this figure to zero, but I want to try and get it as close as possible using a combination of off-peak tariffs, charge my batteries overnight, and then utilising it as much as I can when the sun shines during the day. Now, for households that use more electricity than I do, the savings here are potentially even higher. So we're off to a good start then. Now number two is exporting at high rates. So the standard export guarantee or SEG payment is currently 4.1 pence on the tariff that I'm on from Octopus. Now obviously 4.1 pence per kilowatt hour is never going to make me big bucks. And I think that with the cost of energy import being so high, I think suppliers can do better here and increase their payments. So there are other slightly higher export rates available. Here you can see a chart that I've got on screen from moneysavingexpert.com which lists some of the alternative rates. But overall the rates are pretty low compared to what we pay for import. That is, unless of course you can utilise one of the clever Octopus tariffs such as Agile or the up and coming Flux tariff. So with Agile you've got two options. You've got the Agile fixed option which pays you 15 pence per kilowatt hour of electricity exported and then got the Agile outgoing tariff which matches half hourly prices of next day wholesale rates. So here you can see on screen some of the historic rates that were Agile tariffs paid and while the payments now are a lot lower than they have been historically you can see that on some days Octopus have paid out as much as £1.77 per kilowatt hour. Right, so there's no guarantee this happening again anytime soon certainly interesting as I'm likely to export a lot of electricity from excess solar. So for Octopus's new and up and coming flux tariff, I have the rates for the northeast on the screen at the minute. Now these may vary for your area, but as you can see they're offering 22 pence to export during the day, 35 pence to export at peak times between 4 and 7 p.m. Now although the import rates are higher on this tariff, generally it's a pretty good tariff overall for export. It's pretty hard to estimate my own usage right now, but if I had to guess I would say I'm likely to export around 3,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. Obviously much more sometimes so now for the exciting part a 15 pence export on the agile fixed rate that equates to 450 pound in earnings per year at the 22 pence flux daytime rate that equates to 660 pounds per year and if you took an average of the day rate and the higher evening rate of 35 pence and said we would make 25 pence overall and that equates to making 750 pounds per year that's before taking into account any other tricks such as battery discharges to the grid at peak times. So who can apply for these tariffs? Basically anyone who has solar and battery installs and as long as you're not on a smart tariff. There are some other terms and conditions so visit Octopus's website to check these out. Number three, saving sessions. So saving sessions are being run by the national grid and various energy suppliers to try and reduce demand at peak times and take some of the pressure off the grid. And if you have a home battery there's a few little tricks you can do which I might discuss in another video. This has certainly helped me maximise what I've earned by shifting my electricity usage to other times of the day. So in summary, where are we at? So, bill savings, I'm potentially saving up to £850 per year here, but I'm not likely to save all that. So let's go with a conservative estimate of £700 per year. So for export, assuming that I switch to the flux tariff and export 3,000 kilowatt hours per year, of electricity and we'll use a conservative rate of 22 pence per kilowatt hour and not consider any peak time 35 pence export and that total equates to 660 pounds per year and if we take into account 138 pound that i've earned so far from the savings sessions this year then we get a total of 1498 pound so we're a little off the 2000 pound mark that i quoted in this video but i think with some extra saving sessions this year and a couple of other tweaks with the battery 
exporting at peak times, that kind of thing. We might get somewhere close. Now one caveat to this that may swing this massively is if I purchase an electric vehicle later on in the year. So I plan on doing this. Potentially charging an electric vehicle on an off-peak tariff overnight could save me about £180 a month in fuel costs. Anyway, if you're interested in how this turns out, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and I'll keep providing updates throughout the year. So thanks for watching and see you on the next one.